lots of paper. I've got props, fellow Toastmasters, Toby, and especially Sherry. I chatted with Sherry very briefly about her speech tonight and what did she, for those of you who have been a member of the club for a while, you know, Sherry's a very accomplished speaker. And if, you're our, if you are a Toby, you're visiting, we don't expect you to do that in your next speech. <laughs> Sherry, Sherry has been a member of Toastmasters for <coughs> years. And what, I, what she'd asked me to focus on is besides the presentation skills, um, how might she improve this presentation to help new evaluators? So that's what I'm going to focus on today. I'm going to also follow Sherry's lovely guide that she gave us to show you how this can work. I did, I did an, uh, just not on her sheet of paper. I have my own notes. So that's a good idea of uh, when you're listening to a speaker, writing some things down. Positive things. What I, Sherry, what I really enjoy, you get you opened with a personal story. And we can all relate to a personal story. Another thing you did was gave us why we should do evaluations. And you pulled from the, the older Toastmaster you know, uh, improving speaking and listening and critical thinking. Wow, I wish I could improve my critical thinking. All that from Toastmasters. But I liked the why and, and putting that in, in a concise uh, three, three word <coughs> package. The, another thing I really liked were your specific examples. And this is not just being a good evaluator, but it's also being a good speaker. Sherry, as she gave us gestures, and she gave us we're talking about he should live, but I'm not going to let him, or he should be free. And I'm, but examples of uh, vocal 